Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, in the last session, we are trying to understand object class. We completed three points. What is object class? Second point we discussed. How can you prove that object class is super class? Third point we understood. Why object class is the super class? Uh, come to the screen. Uh, why object class super class of all classes for achieving code reusability, loose coupling and runtime polymorphism. In this session, let us understand why the class name is object. Why object class name is object? Why not some other name? Why not XYZ? Uh, why class name is object? You know, as per coding standards and naming convention, we follow one point. What is that? The name of the class must represent the operation performing by this class. The java.lang.object class is given for representing real world object and also meant for providing methods to perform operation on instance of a class instance of a class is object now that's why the class name is object why java.lang.object class name is object because it representing real world object also representing the operations to perform by the instance of the class that's why it's named as object okay four important points what is java.lang.object why java.lang.object class over a class of all classes Prove that it is a super class of all classes and why object class name is object. These four are the very important points which we have completed now. In the next session, we will try to understand what are the common methods available in object class which we have to use in all our subclasses. Don't miss next session. Thank you.